Edinburgh, Scotland, a vibrant, moving city fuelled by a world-class transportation system, one form of which being the iconic black cab. But this is under threat and soon may vanish from our streets forever. Have you heard of this Uber app? Yeah, it's a bit more. What have you gone us for you? How come? Basically, they're coming in. I know they're coming to taxi companies wherever they go. But the drivers don't do a knowledge test. So there's no guarantee he knows where he's going. The background checks that Uber do are very, very poor. Um, the cars don't go through a test to see if they're up to standards, but because they're cheaper, people keep using them and ignoring safety. Not great for the future then? No, not at all. Uber works by calculating the fare in an offshore server, meaning no meter and a cheaper fixed fare. But anybody can register as a driver with Uber, undergoing a background check that does not do a full disclosure, no vehicle maintenance check, and no knowledge proficiency test, leading to cases of rape and assault by Uber drivers globally. In their defence, CEO of Uber, Travis Kalanick, stated that his company will work with governments to ensure drivers undergo stricter security checks. But not everyone in the industry agrees enough is being done and objects to the fact that through the use of offshore shell corporations, Uber can avoid being UK corporation tax. Offshore and, offshore and they pick a country where their taxation laws and rules uh, benefit them. If we cannot get a level playing field, we might face an option of putting our app and opening a, a server wherever it is, Holland, wherever, whatever country it is, we could group together with many other taxi drivers and have a server and everything that comes through our app goes offshore. We employ 55 staff in here. We've got 1,100 drivers and 450 members, local people and the local money and putting that money back into the local economy. Apart from the, the actual employment of 55 people, City Cabs contributed through VAT, rates, employees, national insurance. Um, we, we contributed 500,000, half a million pounds last year alone. I think governments have to face up to what's going to happen in the future, the taxation rules, because these big companies are being allowed to operate and gain profit, but not contribute to the local economy. The issue of Uber and the black cab is a complicated one. A metaphorical battle, as with many other sectors, of modern technology versus the established order. Only time will tell if the black cab can adapt enough to survive. <laughs>